Thank you so much for making time to speak to us. It's, it's a shift and a departure from the past, especially when it comes to reporting um, uh, when uh, RSSP and other institutions that we know of. Today you're talking about reporting on the ESG investment performance. Um, talk to us a bit about what is informing this shift. Why is this becoming a significant aspect of your day-to-day -day operations? Thank you, Anango. It's a pleasure being on your show. Mm -hmm. And as always, uh, thanks for always making time to have a conversation. Um, today is an important uh, event for RSSB as we publish our first uh, ESG report. Um, what's uh, informing it and why the shift? Uh, it comes from a conscious perspective to realize that as the largest financial institution in Rwanda, uh, funded by members, um, well, we always talk about ensuring uh, fulfilling today's liability and responsibilities to our members um, and assuring the same for the future generation financially. We all also um, ought to make sure uh, they are living in a good environment, mm. uh, communities that are healthy and prosperous, mm. but also ensuring that the way decision making is done uh, around uh, capital deployment within RSSP to our portfolio is a state of the art and best practice. Um, so we note that as RSSP, uh, given the position we're in, we're able to, to lead the way and bring along many other partners uh, who work with us. But also we, we owe it to our members, uh, simply said. Um, we live in a world where uh, breaking news about uh, climate change uh, events, uh, bad harvest, um, issues within the community are no longer really uh, so new. Mm. And we have a big uh, responsibility to make sure that within the way we deploy our capital, mm. we can minimize that. Uh, we can assure, uh, on the contrary, all our investments are conscious of improving the environment, mm. uh, are building healthier and, and more prosperous communities, yeah. and that governance around uh, our portfolio yeah. is best uh, Class. Right. And, and, and how do you track every coin to ensure that, um, you know, the capital or the investment deployment within the different uh, portfolios is landing on uh, the social impact projects that you want to achieve within your ESG strategy? First is a conversation. Uh, the good news is that we've had, as you saw in the earlier presentation, we've started having conversations on a regular basis with the uh, respective leaders of our portfolio. Mm. We bring them in the same room and we talk about what matters uh, for our members, also the citizens of this country uh, who save with us and whose money we invest in those companies. Yeah. And to ensure that while we are aiming for, we are all aiming for a high return, uh, it must be done in a responsible and sustainable manner mm -hmm. in alignment with the vision of the country 2050, but also in the alignment of the 2030 mm -hmm. SDG uh, goals to, 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 to make sure uh, uh, we are building a sustainable and responsible uh, world for yeah. our members. Yeah. So we start with a conversation, but also with uh, implementing uh, measures, strict measures mm. that needs to be followed. Mm that can be reported on. Uh, we always commit to our members to be more transparent and more accountable. Mm. And this same culture is uh, cascaded down to the whole portfolio. Um, the bigger the corporates, they get it. Uh, yeah. It's an easier conversation. Mm. The smaller growing um, investments, it's, it's a journey uh, that requires uh, professional support. Yeah. And, and as you saw in the report, this being the first of its kind, mm. You can see that as, at, at the starting point, we're actually doing all right. Mm. We can definitely do better, mm. uh, but we're doing all right. So mm. how are we tracking every penny? Regular conversations, uh, regular reporting, uh, transparency and accountability right. culture across the... There must be a, a, either a difficult or easy situation for you, especially when it comes to harmonizing the thought process of the significance of incorporation of all these sustainability and governance uh, projects uh, or, or, or the entire ESG strategy amongst the 20 portfolio companies that, that, that you're working with, each of them running independently with the individual shareholders. How do you do this? It's creating a synergies and harmony. Um, it's easier to have that conversation when we, we all understand the importance of, uh, of the outcome. Mm -hmm. We all want uh, 
uh, a cleaner atmosphere, a cleaner environment. Mm. Uh, we all want uh, less polluted um, uh, neighborhoods. Mm. We all want uh, healthier communities and, and prosperous communities. We all want to make sure decisions are made in, with integrity, uh, the right way, the best way, in yeah. fact. So when you have like-minded like -minded people in the room, which starts with the way you recruit and you appoint board members, leaders of different uh, portfolio companies, so it hasn't been a challenge, mm. uh, but we are not a digital journey. Mm. Starting has been easy, but getting where we want to be is easy. Our goal is to ensure that we can contribute to supporting Rwanda's uh, goal to become uh, carbon neutral, mm. as intended, uh, via our different investments. Mm. And if it's a uh, banks, where are you deploying and how are you deploying your capital? Mm. Are you requiring your, your clients to whom you are lending to actually be ESG conscious? Mm. Uh, are you, uh, when we invest in equity companies, are we ensuring that when we create new jobs, uh, gender and diversity um, is a matter being discussed on the table, mm -hmm. not at the bottom of the entry level, but also when we talk about executives uh, and then board members, do we have enough women mm -hmm. to contribute to the conversation, mm -hmm. making decisions, uh, and we're leading these companies. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to the energy we use, are we conscious of the source of the energy we've you will see in our portfolio we've reduced our exposures to some of the investments that were using some of not so clean energy mm. where we'll be focusing more and more to actually cleaner energy mm. and lucky enough in rwanda hydropower uh, powers a lot of our activities energy yeah. we consume yeah. uh, so across the board is really bringing that conscious mindset mm. uh, but also putting measures mm. uh, metrics to report on yeah. Uh, that yeah, you've done this, but now in the end, it's a conversation of what has been delivered yeah, yeah. in different communities. Right. In your in your speech, you did mention and assured members that the funds look amazing and 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 all is actually good. Talk to us a bit about how the entire ESG um, you know uh, 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 strategy is going to impact overall the performance of, of this fund. Thank you. Uh, indeed, in my opening, I mentioned that the fund is healthier. Mm. Uh, the journey is not done. Mm. The job is not done yet. Uh, we're still on, on the way. But the good news to our members is that it's getting healthier. Uh, we continue to see uh, contributions in different schemes increasing. We still continue to see uh, uh, subscription to the health care schemes, Mitchell de Sante, Rama, increasing year on year. Mm. We continue to see the amount of contribution increasing. Um, we continue to see feedback and we are driving a survey for our NS, uh, NPS score um, to see how our members feel with the improvement in quality of service. Mm. Uh, and we continue to see also the return on investments increasing. Mm. Um, are there where we want to say we've arrived? Mm. No, not yet, mm. but it's healthier. Mm. Healthier in the sense that we are really achieving all the metrics we said year on year within the means and the possibility within um, the macro environment we operate in. Mm. So that's good. Uh, but our ambition uh, is to uh, get even better, mm. be a, a reference of excellence mm. in operation and quality of service, but also performance. Mm. And while all that is good, uh, the traditional way of reporting we have been doing is to focusing on the numbers. Yeah. Numbers, you know, uh, beat budget here, mm. uh, beat expectation here, achieve a high record number here. We want to start having that additional conversation of mm -hmm. uh, not only the numbers look better, but also we, this is how actually we contributed in improving the environment we live in. Mm -hmm. This is how we are helping uh, farmers uh, use better uh, fertilizers that is more of uh, uh, environmental friendly. Mm -hmm. This is how we are helping um, uh, minimizing pollution in the environment. Mm -hmm. This is how we are helping build stronger, healthier communities by sponsoring you know, sp uh, scholarships uh, to young women uh, and uh, to be able to participate in, in the broader opportunities available to mm. everyone. Mm. This is how we're improving access to health, um, building new health facilities, uh, sponsoring more doctors. Uh, these are initiatives that we are doing, not just as RSSB, but yeah. also uh, across the portfolio. How are we planting more trees? Mm. How are we sponsoring more um, uh, solar energy. And you've seen that in examples given that these things are happening. Yeah. Uh, 
um, but also on how decisions are made. We don't want to be caught with any of our companies being caught into money laundering, uh, funding um, terrorism or any other bad activities. Mm. Uh, making sure that there's best practice across the board, no right. corruption, right. but also decision making is transparent, mm. objective, mm. and, 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 and um, uh, responsible uh, in a way. Mm. So that's the initial layer uh, because the numbers are just not enough. Mm. Uh, good numbers in a polluted world mm. don't we'll give be you a less. better life. So right. that's really the broader, the next layer we want to add on, not just as RSSB, mm. but you will see this uh, across our portfolio right right before i let you go i want to take you back on a statement you mentioned the starting has been easy and and this i think might not be the same for several other institutions especially when it comes to adapting uh, esg and even coming up with a proper esg strategy today esg reporting is is, is among uh, the you know uh, compliance uh, uh, issues for listed companies and also you know those who are uh, doing uh, operations within different institutions or companies uh, talk to us a bit about what will be needed to make it easier for institutions like you and, and, and your peers within the, this space to ensure that ESG reporting uh, or even the whole strategy does not just end up as, you know, one of those to do things, just a checklist that like we had long ago, CSR activities, which were optional, whether you do it or not do it. What sort of help do you want uh, from who and how can institutions like yours and others be assisted? to ensure that there's real impact on the ground? Mm. Thank you. Uh, it's a very good question. And, and, and the good news is that we are, we are lucky, at least in Rwanda, to have a government that is uh, citizen-centered. Mm -hmm. And I'm aware that very soon there will be an announcement of a government ESG framework, mm -hmm. um, which also we will align with as much as we've started. Uh, but this broader framework will be also be, uh, will, uh, will align uh, with what's to be published soon. So that's one. Uh, it, it's a government-led initiative. And number two, it's really the, just the right thing to do. Uh, and I think uh, for us, especially as an organization that is funded by members, is the money that we invest. Uh, it's one thing to make more of it for them. Mm. But even more important is to ensure that the way we are doing that shouldn't make the world we live in a worse world to live in. Correct. Right? So it, it's the right thing to do through and through. Mm. Uh, um, and you can do one without the other, really. And, and, and for our, uh, us, uh, unlike maybe some other uh, corporates, uh, maximizing profits is not the ultimate goal, it's mm. to do it in a responsible, sustainable manner. Mm. And our members, whose money we invest, mm. uh, would like to see how in you know, tangible, visible mm. example it's being done. Mm. Uh, so for us, having the government championing that initiative it being the right thing to do, mm. um, the funds we invest being uh, from the members, yeah. uh, we only uh, need to make sure that it's when we deploy that capital and make most of that money, it's also improving the quality of life, mm. the quality of the environment they live in. Um, some of the very exciting things we're doing, and, mm. and, and it's good to see the world also acknowledging that the two big projects we have uh, in real estate, uh, Visual City Phase 2, uh, 1,500 units, um, uh, have been awarded the number one or the best sustainable residential project on the continent. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, uh, shortlisted number, uh, top five block, mm. uh, this is about two weeks ago. The KGC uh, Kigali Green Complex that we're going to be building, uh, an iconic state-of-the-art building that is going to transform the face mm. of Kigali, mm. is going to be um, uh, Gold LED certified. Mm. Uh, so we're mindful uh, and we're actually walking the talk. Mm. Um, uh, we are sponsoring doctors, nurses, midwives. Uh, we are um, working with the community, not only on the healthcare side. So what help do we need, uh, back to your question, is really like-minded leaders mm. uh, and, and professionals also who really want to make a direct impact mm. in a visible way to come to join us um, on this program that is championed by the government mm. that we would like to lead uh, the way, uh, being who we are and the size we have as an organization. Right. So come join hands, yeah. uh, bring your expertise, yeah. bring your goodwill, mm -hmm. and want to put a call for action mm -hmm. to other leaders of other institutions, whether financial, health, uh, manufacturing, any sector you are in, mm -hmm. we are open to partner. Mm -hmm. uh, the bigger the impact, uh, uh, the more will we will show mm -hmm. uh, if you call on us. So yeah. 
that's really my, my call and, yeah. and the type of support we have. Right. Finally, uh, Regis, especially on the aspect of um, institutionalization, institutionalizing this, um, you know, uh, strategies to ensure that there is continuity, there is sustainability of them, that, that it is not something that today, if you are moved to another institution, for example, we're having a problem in, in trying to continue from where you left from. What, what, what sort of strategies are happening or should happen to ensure that these ideas, these um, um, uh, projects, uh, these strategies are strongly rooted from an institutional perspective? Uh, just for someone who could be thinking and wondering whether this will be something that will continue moving forward, what would you tell them? Mm. Number one, I will make it clear, this is not a... a just my work. This yeah. is a government-led initiative mm -hmm. uh, championed by the government. As I mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. we are expecting to have a government framework announced mm -hmm. very soon. Uh, so it's by any mean anything that one would claim to say it's just by one leader. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the work that was presented today uh, itself is, is the work of a broader team mm -hmm. uh, uh, of RSSB, all the executives that you saw answering different questions a technical team that actually went and visited the different portfolio companies, but also the leaders of the portfolio companies we've engaged and who actually really committed to drive this mandate. Uh, so without a doubt and with a lot of confidence, I would assure anyone who would have uh, thought that uh, a worry about continuity, that mm -hmm. this is rooted at the core of who we are as an organization. Mm -hmm. uh, it, we are just getting started mm -hmm. and the goodwill is not just at the top. Mm -hmm. It's really... Uh, uh, across organization in RSSB, but through the portfolio. And, and the excitement, the exciting part is, is in, in the room, you saw some pictures. Uh, everyone in the room left committed mm. that this makes sense, it's the right thing to do. We are privileged mm. to be entrusted with the mm. money we use to create value. Yeah. But our members want more beyond money, mm. a better world, more mm. a better environment, uh, better healthier community, prosperous communities and the right way of making decisions. So if we don't do it, mm -hmm. I'm sure without a doubt, our members will hold to account mm -hmm. on why we're not doing so. So rest assured, this is here to stay and to get better. Right. Yes. Regis, thank you so much for making time. Thank you, Anna. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Send, Thank you.